81 banks have failed so far this year, and that's the most in 17 years. The FDIC is trying to, well, make the failed banks look a little more attractive to potential investors. Yesterday, the agency approved of a less strict set of rules. Billionaire investor Wilbur Ross was one of the buyers of a failed Florida bank in May. Bloomberg's Carol Masser asked Ross about the new rules. To do due diligence on a bank with all the problems that exist nowadays, mm. you have to be allowed inside. And they generally only allow you inside very shortly before the time when you bid. So we have a pretty good list of who we'd like to get inside mm. and who we think will fail. But now that they've cleared the air, I think that it'll be a lot easier to at least get inside and do the due diligence. To the best of my knowledge, they have not been letting private equity in to do anything during this interregnum uh, period, and, and that's fine. You mentioned this list. How long is that list? Oh, well, it's quite long. Quite long, yeah. and I'm assuming it's diverse. Well, I think that there are probably going to be 500 banks fail between now and the end of 2010, mm -hmm. and maybe 10% of those are ones that one would want to look at. So, so it's quite a large universe. So safe to say that there's at least roughly 50 banks that you guys are looking at? No, that we would like to look at. Okay. That we'd like to look at. Okay. But once you go through the details, and again, I know it's really tough since you haven't gone through it, could we assume that you would potentially do, you'd be doing some more deals here? Oh, well, we will bid some more, um, uh, assuming that it's the way that I, you know, un understood it over the uh, uh, video conference. Right. Um, we'll bid. The problem is we're not going to be able to bid as much as we would have before. In the case of Bank United, our bid, if these had been the rules, probably would have been a couple of hundred million dollars lower. Okay. All right. So it's that would have been another couple of hundred million dollars lost forever for, by the FDIC. How much private equity money is out there potentially to go well, after banks? Well, private equity altogether has around $400 billion of unused equity funding. Mm -hmm. I don't think all of that would go into banks, but conceivably $100 billion could. Okay, so a big chunk of it. Sure. Hey, listen, there's one criticism that's come out in terms of private equity is that they don't really have the size. It's coming from some of the large banks. They don't have the size, they don't have the capital or the synergies of a bank um, that to, to really do it or to make it sense. What, what do you say to that criticism? Well, first of all, we've owned banks before. I bought a failed bank from the Japanese government. We fixed it up. We eventually merged it at a very good profit into Sumitomo Mitsui's mm -hmm. Kansai Bank. Other private equity firms have done the same thing in various jurisdictions. So first of all, it's a fiction that private equity has not dealt with banks before. Mm -hmm. We have, and to the best of my knowledge, no bank that was a failed bank bought by private equity has ever failed back. Well, that was Wilbur Ross on our air there with Carol Masser. He says he sees 500 bank failures by the end of 2010. There have been 81 bank failures so far this year.